Hello and welcome. This is Hless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Today we're going to be having some fun with radio buttons and colors. So, let's start a new Android Studio project. And I want to call this one Roses because we are going to choose the color of roses to send to our significant other. Pretend. Empty. Activity. Finish. And here it goes. All right, mine's open. I'm going to change the theme over real quick to device default light. One of the things you should be noticing is um, some of the things you've learned and, uh, and patterns that you're beginning to see uh, when writing these uh, these applications. Uh, first, we've already learned how to create a project. That's that's pretty easy. Uh, we've learned some of the basics of widgets and XML. Uh, and that that actually is pretty easy. It's pretty um, pretty intuitive. Pretty much a drag and drop and little tweaks here and there. But you know, of course, as you learn, you will learn more and become more and more adept at tweaking. Another thing that uh, uh, we've seen is when we go into Java, one of the first things we want to do is uh, declare our variables. Um, another thing that we're going to do uh, is then after we've declared our variables that we're going to use. Uh, then we uh, write whoops, our methods and then when we're completed write our method then we call our method so uh, whether you realize it or not you've actually learned quite a few things uh, at this point in the tutorial series uh, so you should be proud of yourselves and uh, you're going to learn more and become more adept as time goes by one of the things I highly suggest is that while you're not watching these, you should take some opportunity to read the sources, the resources, and you know, just goof around and try a little bit on your own with here and there. It's just see what happens. Anyway, back to our tutorial. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fix the XML to make it look the way we want it to look. Um, we're going to be using radio buttons this time. So we're going to go down here to content. First, you have to put a content group in to hold the radio buttons. Let's put a little bit down here. And then we're going to grab three radio buttons. One, two, three. All right. And then we're going to grab a regular button and put it right here at the top. All right. So then we have to label these. And these are going to be roses, so we want to name this red roses which is red radio button now remember these names because it's going to be radio button two and three just like it was last time red yellow and let's do pink for pink roses all right now one of the things we want to do is we want to go in here and change the color not of the background but of the text itself. And we're going to do that pretty much like we do changing anything else in the color in this. We're going to scroll down to see text, red, text color. Click here. And click on the red area all the way up there. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing to yellow. Click on the yellow. Click all the way up there barely see it but that's all right and then pink uh, that's more purple but <laughs> ah, there's a nice pink there we go all right let's go in here and change the background of the uh, entire app itself and we don't want to change it to black uh, because then you won't be able to see anything so let's change it to a light gray there you can see yellow and red and you can see it better all right cool now I want to change the button to let's just change this to selection all right now that we've got that done uh, and we know the names button and this is gonna be 
radio button one, radio button two, radio button three. But before we leave here, we need to make sure we give the radio group a name, an ID. Remember, these are all individual pieces, uh, so we can all use them as such. So we should come in here and give it the ID radio group so that uh, when we assign something to it, we can assign it using ID. And uh, yeah. Now we need to go back into our Java file and begin working there. All right, now we're going to go down here. We're going to declare our radio buttons, and they're going to be private, static, and let me see. We're going to call the first one radio group. Radio underscore group. All right, and then we've got those uh, actual buttons themselves. But when you're declaring the button, you only declare things that you actually need. And because this is a radio button, uh, we only going to need one because you can only choose one at a time. And spelling only choose one at a time so we'll have to cast that the uh, the selection to something in order to use it and then finally our button button uh, button underscore um, select. That's what we've called it. All right, now I go back over here and then Alt Enter to add that, Alt Enter to add that, and Alt Enter to add that. So now we've added and imported all those important things that we're going to need. Uh, private is misspelled. There we go. Our next step is to create our method. So we come down here, pass the on create, and we're going to create a public and a void. And this is going to be on click listener button, but we're going to call it, oh, Susie, just for the fun of it. Okay, now we need to cast our radio group here. So we will use the variable radio underscore group, and we will make it equal to radio group. And we want to be able to find view by ID and it's r dot ID dot and we use the radio group okay there's that cast and then we need to do the same for the other button uh, so we'll do that and also notice the radio group that's not actually good form a button select equals button and we want to be able to find uh, find view by ID or uh, ID dot and then we use button and close it next we need to set the uh, on click listener so we'll use our button um, dot set on click listener and in here 
we're going to put a new view on click listener all right so and then we're going to add these arguments here uh, add the, our data inside our on click messenger first we're going to mess and yes method uh, we are going to first uh, use an integer uh, and we're going to be able to sign um, for getting our ID from the uh, group so integer selected ID equals and then our radio group variable which is radio button group then get checked radio button ID next we need to pass this integer selected ID uh, to our radio button variable and then we cast our radio button uh, variable to radio but we need to close this first and then we do radio yep button equals cast it to radio button and then we do find view by ID and we use this selected ID as the argument all right close this now we can get the text from this radio button variable and display it so we're going to do that through our toast toast dot make text and this will take three arguments first one being main activity um, period this that's our first argument the second one is going to be this variable right here radio button dot get text and we want to cast it as a string and then our last one toast and we want to make the length and oh it's dot length there it is uh, let's make it short length short and that'll be the, that argument and don't always don't forget when you're doing toast you have to do show and then that's the end of that all right and then finally we have to get our method suzy copy and make sure it gets here and then we run our app and it starts to run and you notice you can only check one and when you hit selection, it tells you what selection you've got. Yellow, red. So there's a simple little app. I hope you've learned some things and I hope this helps you in your endeavors to become a wonderful, awesome app programmer. This is Ageless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up.